Hi, this is Ben Tupper. Are there an infinite number of prime numbers? Well, yes, said Euclid, and he came up with this trick to prove it. Give me a list of prime numbers, and I will show you that there is a prime missing from your list. You can go ahead and add this prime to your list, and I will again show you that your list is missing yet another prime, and so on forever. How do you do it? Let's use a very simple case as an example. Someone claims to have found all the primes, say 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and no more. To find a new prime, follow these directions. First, multiply each of your primes together. Here we have 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 11. This gives you 2310. Note that 2310 is divisible by 2, by 3, by 5, by 7, and by 11. In fact, you could say these are its prime factors. Now we'll add 1, just for fun, and come out with 2311. Now consider this new number, 2311. Have we found a missing prime? Maybe, maybe not. Let's look for its prime factors. Is it divisible by 2? It's odd, so it is most certainly not divisible by 2. What about 3? Is it divisible by 3? Maybe it's not obvious right away. But remember, 2310 is divisible by 3. So 2311, just one more, can't be. The same logic rules out 5, 7, and 11. Divide by any of them, and you'll get a remainder of 1. So have we found our missing prime? If its factors are just 1 in itself, then we're done. We found our missing prime. Or maybe it's not prime. What are its prime factors, then? We've just shown that none of the factors from our original list will do, so 2311 must have a prime factor that our list is missing. Brilliant! That prime factor, whatever it is, is our missing prime. As it happens, 2311 is a prime, so toss it in the list you can play the same trick on this new list. Rinse, wash, repeat. This is definitely not the most efficient way of finding primes. In fact, we've missed a few, but it shows how to add a new prime to any list of primes. And this is Euclid's proof that there are an infinite number of prime numbers. Thanks, Euclid.